bro, can you just repeat that so I can film this? <laughs> yeah, dude, I, I found some cheap flights to go to Turkey, but it's for tomorrow. Um, are you are you in? <laughs> so my friend Chris called me and asked if I wanted to go on a trip that left the very next day. Over the past few years, I've been fortunate to have traveled all over the world, but I have to say my favorite trips were the ones that happened with super short notice. So we got some sleep, packed a bag, and headed off to Turkey. Um, good morning from Istanbul, Turkey. This is, uh, this is incredible. It's 7.15 in the morning. This is so spur of the moment. So spur of the moment. What's the matter with me? I think I'm stuck in a dream. And you can feel it so. This is the most random thing that ever could have happened I... in Istanbul. Bro. We, we literally decided instead of Ubering to our next location that we're just gonna walk 40 minutes. And we see this guy, he has the round glasses on. And Chris and I look at each other at the same time and we're like, yo, that's Salt Bay. <laughs> and, and he's just like on a jog. He's literally on a jog with a friend. He had like a chauffeur car like following him. And I, I literally turn around. I was like, when am I ever gonna see this man again in my life? So I stopped by and I got a picture with <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, this is my first time trying Turkish tea. Tastes like tea. <laughs> <laughs> they say that the average Turk or Turkish citizen drinks more tea than the average British citizen. Really? We uh, just sat down at a kebab place. We kind of just like wanted to go someplace. Maybe a little more quiet. Well, I said off the beaten path, but clearly it's <laughs> super loud here. And we wanted to order, but we wanted to just like have time to look at the menu, but there is quite a language barrier here that I'm finding, so I'm gonna have to try to figure out how to navigate that, but otherwise. Thank you. Thank you. This Which costs like... 25 lira, this costs 25 lira, this costs... 19. 19 lira. Around $10 for both of us to eat lunch here today. That's crazy, let's check out how this tastes. Beef, spicy beef kebab. Mmm. Yeah, dude. That's it. Okay. okay, now let's talk about what I'm doing here in Turkey. This is our private rooftop balcony and we've been staying in this place for three nights and it only costs us 85 USD, which then split between both of us is only about $40 for three nights. That's like unheard of. So we definitely wanted to make sure we capitalize on things like that because if we came during a normal peak season of peak tourism, it would definitely be more expensive. We're in Turkey for about 10 days total, so I can't wait to make some videos, explore more of the country. We have plans to go to the coast and then maybe some other areas in Turkey. I can't wait to see what else there is. Okay, uh, now let me show you, let me show you our apartment where we've been staying. So the apartment is pretty much like a studio apartment. It's just one open room. We have had our computer set up over here for editing, little content station, little mini fridge, got some water and then just two beds. Chris has been staying in the small bed, even though I did offer the big one to him because he's much taller than I am, but he said that I can have it, you know? A real nice guy, real nice guy. And then just the bathroom, the usual. What's up? And then outside, outside as you saw, is our private balcony. We just 
made it here to the Grand Bazaar. It's our first day at the Grand Bazaar. Even though we're staying like five minutes walk from here, we haven't explored. And look who we found. What's up, guys? Brett Conti all the way in Turkey. Yep, I've been here for the past three weeks now, and I think the boys just saw how much fun it is out here, and now they decided to come out, so I'm glad that we had to catch each other before you guys head off on your own adventure. I know, so we're, Chris and I are gonna be here for another 10 days, and Brett is leaving tomorrow. So unfortunately, we only got to see him for one day, but he brought us to supposedly what is the greatest coffee. Yeah, this place at the Grand Bazaar, it's five or six generations. It's been here for hundreds of years and they have pretty delicious coffee. Oh, it is different. Very different. It's, yeah. not, it's not your average cup of joe here. It looks like hot chocolate, <laughs> <laughs> but it's coffee. So a fun tradition that they have here in Turkey is when you're done drinking your coffee, you're supposed to flip the cup over and apparently it tells you your fortune. What, did you, what was your fortune? My fortune was I'm going to hit a million subscribers, it said. Your cup told you that? Yep. What else? It also said that I'm the most handsome man <laughs> in all of Istanbul. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Oh, oh, good luck tap. Voodoo. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't come out. Does that mean I have shit fortune? <laughs> Second most handsome man in Istanbul? Okay, not bad. I'll take that. <laughs> yep. But yeah, along the mug on the sides is where you're supposed to read your fortune. So you could like take a photo of that and someone will be able to tell you what it says. It is our last night in Istanbul, and since 5 a.m. this morning, we've been looking for this location. We saw it online. Basically, we have this mosque behind us. Which one is this? This is the Blue Mosque. You can see it there. And uh, we finally found a local who let us up onto his roof. We had to pay him, but we got it done. We got it done. Good stuff, Chris. Let's go. Good stuff. Let's go get this content. We uh, only had to buy a coffee, and I also bought a necklace, and we had to pay to get to the roof. But we got it. We got it done, guys. We got it done. Sir Gabe, already going off. Dude, this is insane. Look at, look at this, bro. Look at all this. Dude. Oh my, bro, look at this. Stand up there. Stand yeah. Up there. <laughs> All right. Well, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta no, let no, this no. stop. No, no, no. Stand up there. How's that? On top of the world. Bro. This is it. This is it. <laughs> That's going to be it for the Istanbul vlog. If you guys like what you saw and you want to follow along on the rest of the Turkey adventure, make sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video. Let's go to, where are we going?